My name is Stephen Bowles, and welcome to another 10 Minute Tuesday. Uh, I'm here in Showflow Live, our, our studio and office. And today, our topic is what is a rundown? So, this is something I'm going to be honest, we have a lot of familiar with here at Showflow, but uh, just kind of talking about what is a rundown here for a second. So, a rundown actually, it, it, it gets called different things depending on the industry you're in, right? So, if you're in the sports industry, you might be calling it a game script. If you're in the corporate events industry, you might be calling it a show flow or production cue sheet. If you're maybe just producing a lightweight event, uh, maybe it's a breakout or some sort of office all hands meeting, you might actually just be calling it an agenda. At the end of the day, it's they're really all the same thing. A rundown is really just the plan that you actually have for any given live event experience. That could be a live stream or it could actually be a venue wide stadium production. It doesn't really matter. You need to have a plan. And if you're ever gonna do an event or take yourself seriously and actually have a chance at producing the same experience multiple times through rehearsals and even in the live event setting, you need to have a plan. And so that's what a rundown is really all about. So what does the rundown look like? Well, so specifically, uh, traditionally rundowns have been built inside of I guess Excel uh, at the end of the day, some sort of table-based editor. It could be Google Sheets, it could be Excel. Um, and generally it kind of follows this grid layout. So remember me talking about how a rundown basically is an agenda. Uh, if you just think of like your flow of an agenda, which is like Steven comes on stage, then he calls for a video and then the panel comes out. That might be all you need for an agenda, but if you're actually gonna produce a show with cues, you need to have more. And so that's where this grid-like layout comes in. And the additional columns in your grid-like layout would actually be audio cues or video cues, something specific to that, uh, to that specific cue where Steven says, hey, let's toss to a video. Um, the challenge that's generally come from the flow of producing inside of an Excel and creating uh, rundowns and agendas and cue sheets inside of Excel is just that you have to print it, honestly. You gotta print it, you gotta create these books, you gotta hand these, these cue sheets or these rundowns out to everyone on your crew. And then naturally during a rehearsal, actually even on for this broadcast today, even during the rehearsals, we were changing the order of things last second. And if you were to be using one of these Excel-based workflows, you actually have to resave, re-export and reprint and then redistribute that rundown to everybody on your crew. To be honest, it's an archaic flow and it really just doesn't match um, sort of the expectations of what we have access to with technology today. So that really kind of leads you into what are the alternatives to Excel, right? And that's gonna be more like rundown software. So Showflow, to be honest, we have rundown software. And so we're gonna kind of just demonstrate to you a little bit here of what rundown software looks like. Before I do that, just FYI, there are other tools, right? If you're doing like broadcast news like level stuff, they've traditionally used tools like, like iNews or ENPS. Um, these are, again, pretty outdated uh, technologies, but they are specific for building rundowns. If you've been using anything in the corporate event space or live sporting event space over the last, I'd say, five, seven years, you've probably heard of Showflow and our rundown tool, and that's what I'm going to demonstra demonstrate here today for you. So I'm going to actually go into a rundown demo that is the exact same rundown that we're using for this live show right now. So if you kind of see right now on the screen, we've got the item column on the left. And it's going to just be the title of your uh, cues or your main level items throughout your show, right? It's the rundown. So we had prep, then we had a countdown video, then we did a welcome and an intro, and then who uses rundowns. So right there, that's basically the agenda. But what makes it a rundown or what makes it a production cue sheet is all of this stuff to the right. Because you can see these columns might say my stream or production notes. So for the cue, uh, who uses a rundown, we're saying that it's going to be Stevie, me, uh, with the featured media right, which is essentially kind of what you're seeing right now. Um, we're also showing a thumbnail of what that video or that screen share might look like. And then we also, of course, have audio, video, and lighting cues along the way. Another really cool thing that comes from moving away from Excel and away from Google Sheets into more of a rundown software-like environment is you just you unlock loads of features that are actually designed for this specific use case. An example of that is timing, actually. So this segment right here, which is what is a rundown, it's currently scheduled to be one minute. So if I changed that to say it was a five-minute segment, we can see just by changing that, it actually changed the start time of all of the subsequent cues below it to be impacted by this new time and this new duration. To be honest, if you were using Excel or Google Sheets, you can maybe hack in a formula, but as soon as you cut, copy, paste, do things like that, you just get the reference errors and all the, 
all of these sort of broken formulas. And that's what Rundown software really brings to the table is it's targeted functionality and features around this use case. Another great one is you heard me talk earlier about uh, basically last second changes. Here's a great example, this who uses a rundown. Let's just say you wanted to change the flow of that and actually say, you know what, let's run this the next uh, row and let's, let, let's run the what is a rundown first. For me right now, just making that change, that's all I had to do. And if all of my crew members were also logged into Showflow, they would have seen that change right there real time. Um, if I was using Excel, that would have called for a new export to PDF, a new print, and a handout to everybody. And everyone would have had to make the choice of whether or not to transfer their notes from the old to the new. Just chaos, to be honest, at the end of the day. So those are just a handful of the specific types of features that you can use when you're using modern rundown software. To be honest, the best way to do it, head over to showflow.tv, start a 14-day free trial of our software, have fun, explore it all. It's loads and loads and loads of stuff. Uh, honestly, another way to get just sort of connected to different people who are building rundowns every single day is go to backstage.showflow.tv. It's a really awesome communi community that we've been developing and fostering. And honestly, it's just taken off on its own at this point. And that's where people are talking about everything from rundowns to streaming to video tools to hacks, the whole thing. You can also maybe even find a job over there. So if you're interested in taking your sort of live event experience seriously and maybe leveling up and getting connected with more of the pros, uh, head over to backstage.showflow.tv.